Hi Parisian Vibe, it's Margot Priolet and today I'm with Ariane. Bonjour! And we are going to uh, show you which and uh, how to choose the perfect red lipstick according to your skin tone. So the first step is going to understand what Ariane skin tone and then we picked four different red lipsticks. One is, I would say, a mistake and the other one are the good tone for the red lipstick and we are going to see uh, for which occasion you should wear one beside the other. So first, Ariane, do you know What is your skin tone? I think I have quite a pale skin tone and my undertone is a warm. Yeah, exactly. And this is how you can tell your skin tone is by wearing a white t-shirt and by this you are going to create a contrast and no other color come into the, your eyes to disturb it. And the, also the best moment of the year to understand your skin tone is during winter because uh, normally all of your tan is gone so you can really understand which skin tone you, you were born with. So here you can see Ayan's chest is a bit golden, but her face is a little bit more pink. So the first step is to match the skin tone of a face to her body, and then you're going to choose your uh, perfect uh, red lipstick. So the first uh, red lipstick we're going to rate is what I would say is a mistake. It's from the brand Sisley. So the name of the lipstick is Sheer Red Love. So it is the classic red lipstick with a kind of a red framboise raspberry undertone, which is to me a mistake because I feel like pink is not really going to suit a blonde or is going to make her look a little bit uh, older than the way she naturally would look. So I'm going to show you first how to avoid uh, this mistake by only applying it on your arm. As you can see, if you compare to what uh, we thought by opening the red lipstick, it's totally different. So this is the first thing I would recommend you to do when you're looking for the perfect lipstick, is first apply it on your forearm. So we're going to apply it on Ayan's lips so you can see like how it's uh, going on on her face. And maybe you're going to tell me if you agree with me or not on a mistake. So I'm done with the application of the first red lipstick and now Ayan is going to uh, discover herself. I can't wait to, to see, your, see your reaction. Alors, um, I would say that it makes me older, definitely. Yeah, I agree. And it's not the best for my skin tone. Do you think this is a huge mistake? Or no, like I don't think it's a huge mistake because it still looks classy. But I think if you want to mo be more modern, you can find better. So how you can tell this is uh, a mistake is because uh, regards uh, Ayan skin tone. So we said before that she has a golden undertone with a little bit of pink. And if you are applying something that has also a pink undertone, it's going to bring mm. the pink undertone she has uh, even more. And this is something that can sometimes make your face look a little bit tired or not very like you, you've been taking the sun or something. And this and one has a... Has a pink undertone and was undertone. also brings again your pink undertone and sometimes this is what we want to avoid. The next lipstick we're going to apply is this uh, classic Chanel with the classic opening uh, way. And it looks like this. And the name of the lipstick is called Emblematique, the color. Okay, so I'm going to apply it on Ayan's lips and then we're going to see together why it suits her uh, better than the previous one. Okay, so the second red lipstick is a lipstick that I think could suit Ayan super well because this is a good skin tone, it's a little bit uh, more intense than the previous one and also if you're applying a lot you have a good pigmentation. So I'm really happy to see you discover yourself and tell me your thoughts. Let's see. Mm, I like it. I think it fits better to my skin tone and also the finish. It's a little bit less sheer than yes. the previous one, but it's still not a matte. Mm -hmm. So it's something I would say super comfortable. I don't know if you can to feel wear. The, the weight of the lipstick. Yes. You feel that you have something. So, so this is something that if you have troubles finding a lipstick that is not drying your lips, I think this mm -hmm. is something also that could last uh, a very long time in your day. But we can see how it changes me in yes. the look. Yeah, I feel like it's I something more 
modern, but maybe still classic. Maybe modern and strong, like the sexy. Mm. Then uh, the kind of sexiness is uh, bring thanks to the still satin finish. But I think a matte is going to look more gold uh, on her. And this is still, I would say, not maybe the perfect one. This is better, but I think this still has a little bit of pink inside. So we're going to rate two more lipstick to try to find the perfect one. The third lipstick we're going to swatch on Ariane's lips is from Hermes and is to me, I think right now, the best lipstick. And this is from the new collection from Hermes. I can already see it's going to be a matte uh, finish. And it's called Rouge Feu. Let's My see. guessing the best one. Right. So we are going to see if I'm right or wrong. Okay, so I'm done uh, with the application and I really think uh, this is the best one so far. It has this slight orangey a little hint of color inside that I think is really uh, making her skin tone pop and so she look more alive. <laughs> Can I see? <laughs> of course! And tell me your thoughts. So it's not um, like a matte, like a liquid lipstick, but I think yes. it's... Um, so far I think it's the best. It has a bit of orange and warm yes. on her tongue, yeah. And we see that it sparks. So this is a classic application, like, like you it. would apply it like the classic way with super defined uh, lip contour, but you have so many ways to apply a lipstick. But uh, yeah, do you, do you think it's the best one for you yeah. so far? Yeah, so far the best one. For an everyday basis in Paris. Yes, okay. feeling confident in Paris. And the last lipstick I'm going to show you is by Sisley. So this is the last lipstick we've applied and to me this is the one lipstick I would wear during summertime because it's super fresh, the color is uh, very kind of pops. I'm very interested in what you think I am. And then we're going to make a little summary. summary. Ooh, love it. It looks fresh on me. It and kind it's of quite original. Awake it mm. your, your face. We see that it fits to my skin tone naturally. Yes, but this is a little bit more bold. So if you were comfortable with this color, I would say this is definitely a go. And if you were maybe a little bit less confident, maybe just apply a little bit less of color with the finger maybe. So this is one of the techniques so far. Could you tell me what's your favorite uh, lipstick from the four? I really like this one and I also like the Ombre Oh, you like the second yeah. one? Okay. Yeah. I thought you would have said the Hermes because to me it's this also, one and the Hermes. But the Hermes also has that one under. Yes. And I prefer this one for the one. Okay. Um, yeah. So now that we've reviewed our favorites to Ariane and me, so remember that when you're looking for the perfect red lipstick, if you're kind of looking like Ariane with a golden undertone, slightly pink sometimes with a thin skin, that you can first swatch on your forearm to see if it's not pink. And if you don't know, you can apply it. But the more kind of orangey, red, warm tone you are going is going to suit you super well. And then the finish, if it's sheer, satin, matte, is really a matte of your very own opinion but uh, yeah I would say you can't go wrong with a classic red with a cold undertone. Vous avez tout? Now we need to finish. On doit dire merci, c'était cool. Ah, okay. to, to start. Yes. Attends, comment on fait ça? Thank you for watching. Thank you so much guys. We hope you, you like this episode and if you have any uh, other tips on how to find the perfect uh, lipstick for your skin tone, just let us know. Bye. Bye.